Hey everybody, um, today I am going to show you guys how I exfoliate my lips. I haven't done it in a couple of days because I've been very busy, but I was about to do it and I figured why not show you guys what I do. Um, pretty much, you there's different ways of doing it. Um, the way I'm going to do it today, since I this was not planned, um, we're going to be using uh, Vaseline. Um, a toothbrush and today I'm going to be using salt. I ran out of sugar so we're going to be using salt and normally what you should, what I would suggest doing is putting it, putting it into a container but um, I don't feel like washing my dishes <laughs> so I'm going to use my hand but um, I'm going to try, this is my first time actually trying to um, like do it while you know doing a video and trying to explain it while talking so um i'll just show you guys what i do um normally what i'll do is i'll go ahead and just take some vaseline you guys can see that and i'll put it inside the little container but i'm just gonna put it in my hand today and just see how this works i don't do it like this I definitely don't use salt, <laughs> but you can. Um, I'm gonna see if I can just put a little salt in there. Sugar is a little better. I don't know. I don't like. I don't really. Like, I'm not a salt fan. But I'm gonna see how this works. I've never done it with the salt, but it's an alternative, as in exfoliative. So, oh god, this is gonna taste horrible <laughs> if I, my um, mouth tastes it. So gonna mix it up a little bit which I probably am gonna use my toothbrush and I don't brush my teeth with this toothbrush just to be clear <laughs> but anyway I'm just gonna oh let me gosh let me show you guys it's starting to spill out of my hand I'm just mixing it up I want to see if I can get that so you guys can see it but I don't want to spill it I'm just mixing it up with my toothbrush I would do it with my finger but I don't want to, um, I don't feel like getting my fingertips that dirty. You don't have to use a toothbrush, but it's, you know, it's a good idea because it exploits it even more. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. So it's just Vaseline and some salt mix. I probably could have did more. You're really supposed to do like a teaspoon of, um, sugar or, um, salt or whatever your scrub is and just mix it up. But, you know, freestyling today. And so I'm just going to take a little bit, if you guys can see that. And, oh my goodness, please don't taste fancy. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm going to see, you just basically rub it on. And I probably, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to put that on. Normally I just rub it on um, first with my finger sometimes. But I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on there, and I already taste that salt. <laughs> but it's okay. This is, and it does look nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know it can look nasty. Forget it. I'm just gonna rub it on. I can't. Um, I'm gonna just take my finger. It's quicker. It can look disgusting. Trust me. <laughs> but it, it's okay. Uh, all right. So all you do is take the toothbrush and just kind of gently rub it in. And I still have more on this toothbrush. It looks like gook, but it don't matter. Because what you're trying to do is get the dead skin off. And the whole point of it is to make get your lips uh, back smooth and soft again. So I'm just rubbing. And I'm not going to take a long time doing this because, um, basically because I'm filming. And me, I will take a while. Normally, about five minutes. Sometimes I'll let it sit in there. Uh, if it's just the Vaseline, um, without the sugar, I might let it sit for about, uh, you know, minimum five minutes, maximum 30 but most of the time I never make it sturdy. Uh, 
you want to make sure that you're doing it very gently and soft and remember the whole point of doing this <laughs> if you feel ridiculous um, okay so make that very short and oh yeah I forgot I always have a cloth to wipe it off you can rinse it off right now I'm not near a sink but I will rinse um, I'm gonna rinse it off after but just have a cloth and just kind of wipe it off clean cloth and it's damp to get that off and again this is a just a quick run through but you normally want to try at least um, you know about five minutes but you don't necessarily need it because you'll feel like a difference my lips feel soft and smooth already <laughs> but yeah I mean this is definitely a good technique to use at home um, instead of buying a lip ex exfoliator um, you'll save a lot of money just with using things at your house and my god my lips feel so good <laughs> but yeah um, I don't know if you guys can see this like it helps like with I mainly use it after you know when I wear lipstick you know, um, cause lipstick can be drying sometimes, but my lips feel so great right now. I'm gonna kiss my own lips. Nah. <laughs> Just kidding, but I hope you guys enjoy that. Remember, um, like I said, it's, it's up to your choice which, which, um, like if you want to use salt or, or things like that or which method, but it does, you don't have to use, you know, too much stuff. You can just keep it simple and come out looking beautiful and soft and lips and that is making sense and now I'm playing. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.